Welcome back to What Arty Nibs for General Disturbance. This is an M40 M43, the Tier 8 American SPG. This one's located on the eastbourne of Sand River Encounter, and it's under the command of the Base Man from Hell. Okay, game's started. Now it's the Encounter game, so the rest of the team are actually north of the river. Baseman's headed south because you can get much better shots up the valley from further south you go. But of course you don't want to take too deep a position because you might become vulnerable to the enemy if they spot you. Oh, a lot of the enemy have been spotted. Our T-49's done a good job. Baseman's now looking for a target and you can see he's used the uh, trick to actually aim up the valley very quickly that's using control and then uh, using his right hand mouse button on the minimap to where he wants to look at and he fires one quick shot in I think that was a bit of a snapshot really reload time 37.17 seconds it's quite long it is the 8 inch howitzer, but if you get a direct hit with the 8 inch, you do do a lot of damage because it's 1050 alpha with penetration of 52 millimeters and this burst radius of 11.1 meters. So it's a very big footprint. He's almost loaded, ready to go. He's gone straight to the aim again. And he's got a 53 TP there. Can easily hit that one. Rounds out on him. Fell short and hit the rock face instead. Just stunned the 53 TP. Oh, there's a juicy target. Just comes into view a T30. And he's facing off against our T30 as well. It'd be rather nice if we can get a round into him. Of course, penetrating shots with this particular RT actually do do a huge amount of damage on the enemy so you want to pick a target that you can actually pen if you can get one in that t30 is turning and i think well he's for a second i thought he was going to change to a new position but he's is he moving not really rounds out direct hit for 429 I think it was tracked. Oh, do you see that? T that 155mm round just bounced off the roof of a TS5 there. Our oh, ELC Evan 90 is now being chased by an LT432. Uh, it's not looking good for the ELC 90 when you get chased by that one. Okay, we're going for the TS5 and he's gone to overhead view to get this next shot in. This could hurt the TS5 a lot. Rounds out straight away. 371 hit points. It was a near miss. It didn't actually strike the target. And I'm afraid uh, our ELCs had to depart the enemy area and the LT-432 chased him off. He's coming back with his tail between his legs. That TS5 is now one shot. He's out the game. T T30's in cover. We can't hit him yet. Oh no, he's come out. He's actually put himself in a vulnerable position, but that might be allowing that 53 TP to move in and get shots on our teammate. And yes, unfortunately, we just lost our defender to their T32. We fire a quick round at the T30 235. Somebody was asking today: Is the um, Big gun, the 8-inch on the uh, M40, M43, worth it? Because he didn't think it was. But yes, it is. The the more expert your crew gets at firing the 8-inch howitzer, the more damage they reap off the enemy. And it can be very useful having an 11-meter splash because uh, it is an 11-meter radius, which means that if you can put the shell between two targets, then you can do a huge amount of damage to the enemy. Okay, he's trying to line up that Emil. He fires the round in and gets a direct hit for 375 and he hit the rear of the vehicle. Now, he should have penned that Emil, but I think it must have hit a hard point, possibly in the track area. That's something like that. Off to the River Valley again. We've got that T-32, the guy who took out our defender. And he's been joined by a VK this time. Baseman's almost ready to shoot again. 
Is he going to take the VK this time? He might. Just needs to line it up. Rounds out in the VK. Direct hit for 419. Good shot. Heavy stun on that VK. Now he's had to pull back. It affects your reload. It affects everything. Your driving, reactions. Everything's slower. And there's an LT432 getting close. And our ELC's gone out with a T49 to try and fend off that LT432. But in the meantime, well, we for a second we were going to fire down the valley, down the riverbed towards the T32, but the VK's there, and he might actually be able to hit one and take the other one out of the game at the same time. Lining up the T32, fire snapshot, gets a direct hit, 433, he's racking up the damage, 2.2k already. Okay, we've got a Doom Turtle there now, tier 9 American Tank Destroyer. Eight rounds of HE left. You don't get a huge amount of ammunition with the M40, M43, but uh, well, certainly with the 8-inch gun. You do, funnily enough, with the 212A, though, which is surprising. That has much more ammunition at 203mm level, and he takes the T95 out of the game. I think that T95 just taken some damage and a shot went in at the same time as Baseman's shot went in and he claimed his first kill. Okay, that LT432, he was having a look at him, but instead he's decided to go for this T30. He's not quite a one-shot. He would take a lot of damage. Now he's a one-shot. Now he's definitely, if he can put around near him, he'll get that kill as well. He just needs to land the shell near this T-30. Line him up. No, he's getting a red line from that rock. Keeps adjusting the aim. Instead, he's decided to go for the 53 TP. Again, he's getting problems with the rock face. He's telling the team where he's actually aiming, but there's no targets in sight at the moment near the riverbed area that he can actually shoot at. So he's actually having to go to the Emil 1951 instead, and he's got to fully dial in on this target, which is taking uh, just a little while. Lining him up. Rounds out. It lands short. He did actually aim short. He was hoping that the shell would go long and hit the Emil square on, but it didn't work that way. And we did lose our teammate in the po in the process. The object 257 was taken out. He's back in the garage. So we're three tanks down on the enemy at the moment, which is not good. Seem to be focused around our cap area as well. The enemy's pushing in towards our cap. Or our, our spawn area, rather, I should say, because the cap area is in the centre of the village. Rounds out in the Emil. Reverse slope. And again, he only gets some splash, 80 hit points. The T-30 is now come into sight and dropped out of sight again. There's that LT-432. Now he's a splash kill. Definitely a splash kill. And base man ignores him and is now aiming at this AE phase one. The reward tank. Okay, now he's a uh, dial in quickly as you can. Rounds out. He d fires before he's ready and he doesn't get the kill. He would have got a kill, I think, if he'd been closer to the target. But he, all he got was a near miss and some splash. Yeah, that A phase one's getting close to our guys and now they're going to start suffering some damage. He's only 30 hit points, and he dies to the T49. T30, again, he's a splash kill. He goes down. The Lurva gets him. Okay, the enemy's now starting to take some serious damage. The VK, he's a splash kill as well. Rounds out. That's a kill. Second kill for base man. The enemy's tanks are now dropping like nine pins. Unfortunately, base man's not loaded. The T-32's killed. The 53 TP's a one-shot as well. It looks like all the enemy tanks are 
they were very low on hit points and they all started to come in at exactly the same time and now they're all falling one after the other there's a 53 tp almost loaded line him up he's dialed in all he needs to do is put the round in this should be a kill it is three kills now this is much better they're now even four kills each the t10s are one shot as well he's a splash kill Of course, regular RT players will know what I mean when they say it's a splash kill. You only need to land the shell near the target, close enough, and it will take them out of the game. And that Emil 1951 is not a splash kill, but he is now. He just took a hit from, I think, the Lurva or the Scorpion. And he's been killed as well. So that's four kills now for the base man. 2.8k of damage. And he's now loading his last shell and he mentions that in chat. I always do that. Let my team know how many shells I've got left because it can be very important. There's three enemies out there. The RT, a light tank, which is the LT-432, who is a splash kill, and the T-10, who's also a splash kill. So it's still possible for the base man to get five kills. The lovers near the village... I'm sure that LT-432 is spotting for his RT somewhere on the south side. He's going to go into the village. Oh, there's the T-10. He's relocated. Further up the riverbed, but he's still a splash kill. Put the shell near him. Rounds out. This could be a fifth kill. Yes! <laughs> it's his last round of ammunition. Hit the C key and tell them you've got no ammo left. And he has done that. It's no shell. No more shells. He's out of ammo. And he says it's up to you guys now. He's done his bit. He's killed one third of the enemy team. All he can do now is cap. And to do that, he's going to have to motor towards the cap. And join the lurver. And that's exactly what I would do under the circumstances. You've done your bit. You've fired at the enemy. You've done a huge amount of damage. 3k of damage. Takes the shortcut. Goes down the edge. Through this little ravine. Up the other side. Use all the terrain you can to get to the cap without actually being spotted. The LT-432 is retreating back to their spawn point. I think he's going to go to the mountains over the top. There's only their RT left now, really, that can, as an effective force. The 432 with his 85mm gun is not going to stay stand up too long. We did lose the Lurva, but that T49 is just taking care of the RT. Our Scorpion's moving into a position north of the cap, and the LT 432's around the spawn point trying to defend against the T49. And, oh, we did. He killed the T49. So, the best thing we can do is act as bait. Oh, base man's decided not to act as bait. I would say go, go into the cap, act as bait. Let the scorpion sit above the cap area. And then the LT-432 has to come looking for you. And that's when the scorpion get, nails him. There's some, a few recriminations going on in chat. I, I think you can probably see that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think uh, the T forty nine didn't realise that base man had run out of shells. He did say he was on his last round. Unfortunately, it's too late now for him to cap base man to cap. In fact, it was too late when it reached the three minutes forty seconds mark. But I mean, at this time, we'd still say go to the cap and act as bait. And he said, yes, unfortunately, some very ripe language in chat. I think that LT-432 is going to stay outside and force a draw. I would still go to the cap, though. It's worth it just to go to the cap, uh, just in case he's silly enough to not to realise that he can't win. And there's the 432, and he's north of the cap area. And the Scorpion's in a position. He could take him out. 
And he does! And that wins the game! And there's a big yes! Exclamation mark from Baseman as his uh, M43 does a victory dance. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's a first class tanker for the base man from hell in the M40, M43. He got a Reaper badge. He took out consecutive enemies with consecutive shots. And he also got a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got five, just one short of getting a top gun. He also managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 17 and he got a gauze medal for doing more damage, exceeding eight times the hit points for his own vehicle. And his win eight from that game was 6,300 22 which is very much super unicum let's have a look at the uh, team score well there you can go you can see that he didn't get the highest damage in the game that went to the emil 1951 he picked up a high caliber for 4890 points but the next highest scorer was the base man under anonymizer he managed to get 3810 and then we've got the scorpion g who won the game with his final shot 3789 hit points to him and uh, the T-49 did get a scout. Unfortunately, though, he didn't survive the game. I don't think he was listening or watching the mentions that uh, Baseman was making in chat to say, I'm running out of shells. Otherwise, you see, that way he would have been able to take out the T-40, the LT-432. But of course, he couldn't because he didn't have enough ammo left. Let's have a look at the uh, number of kills. Well, the high scorer there was Baseman with five. The second highest was the Emil 1951 with four. And then there's three members of our team, including Scorpion G, T49 and Lerva with three kills apiece. When it came to base XP, it was the T49 who did the best. He did some spotting in that game. He picked up uh, 1,224 hit points to spotting assist from that one. And he picked up 1237 base, 1,100 to Baseman. And 1,088 goes to the Scorpion G. And the Lerva managed 1,011. And these were the only four players who managed to get over 1,000 base experience points. He, Baseman fired 16 rounds. All of his ammunition expended during that game. You don't get a whole lot of ammunition. You get 30 rounds in the 212A, which is very surprising. You'd think that they would give 30 rounds to the M40, the M43 as well, because after all, they did have a truck to carry around the ammunition with the RT. Six direct hits, no penetrations, 18 splash. Damage of 3,810 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. He damaged nine of the enemy, that's three-fifths of the enemy team, and killed five of them, one-third of the enemy team. He, da he also managed to get 13 stun points, uh, 13 stuns rather, but no stun assist. Nobody was shooting at the tanks, he was stunning. 40,917 credits from that game. After ammunition resupply and consumables, he actually made a small loss of 9,003 credits. But he did get five bombs for the uh, Gauze Medal and 1,650 XP. And there was no multiplier, so that's all the experience points he actually took away. Out of ammo. Yes, that's happened to me on many occasions. I've actually fought battles, run out of ammo, and I've been warning the team. Last shot coming up or... Only three rounds left, only two rounds left. You do a countdown. You tell your team how many rounds you've got left because it's important to let them know that sooner or later you're going to run out of ammo and you're not going to be able to do anything to shoot at the enemy. All you can do is sit in the cap and uh, cap for your team. And if you're on a standard battle, that can be difficult because it means you have to navigate the enemy battlefield without any ammo, without any means to protect yourself. But on an encounter battle like that, uh, you just act as bait. You bait the enemy into coming into the cap area and then uh, it forces the enemy to reveal themselves and your guys can then take them out. But uh, nicely done there from base man. Unfortunately, at the end, he, he didn't decide to act as bait. If he had, I think the 432 would have actually appeared a lot sooner. But he, he made the big mistake. He should have actually just run off and hid. Instead, he thought that he could take out uh, both the arty and the Scorpion. And there was no way he was going to do that in the time allotted. So I think LT432 driver, you made a big boo-boo. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel, please. And thank you for watching.